Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 20. We are going to learn about time depth CTL, time depth CTL and chronic utility. To configure the time and date, we are going to use the command time date CTL. You can see what are the options available and how to configure the time in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Let us print the current date and time using the date command and let us see how and how what are the options are available. Time date CTL is the command. Let me get the help. I know if help. Here we can see all the available options. At the end of the help, we can see the command status, set time, time zone, list time zone, and the NTP. To set a time, let us see the status first. Time date CTL status, the time, local time, universal time. And the time zone was Asia Kolkata. And the NTP is enabled. Time synchronization is enabled. Actually, I have not done any configurations yet. Uh, let me check one by one. Time date CTL set time. So I'm going to set a time manually. To set a time manually, the current time is 15:23 okay so i'm going to use now time date ctl set time let me set to 18 let me print the time it's the time was set so let me list what are the time zones available time date ctl list hyphen time zone these are the time zones we have a we have in the operating system this information will be stored under user share zone information time date CTL status Asia Kolkata I'm going to assign a different time zone time date CTL set time zone Asia Kolkata or oh, sorry means we need to use Dubai can try with Dubai okay I'm going to reassign the time zone time zone to uh, Dubai. Time date CTL set time zone Asia Dubai and the status showing Asia Dubai. The time zone from Asia Kolkata it's changed to Dubai. Fine. We have seen the how to set the time and the zone. Let me list now time date ctl help we have seen the status how to see the status setting the time time zone and the how to list the time zone now let us see how to set the ntp how to enable the ntp synchronization uh, let me set time date ctl set ntp yes so the ntp enabled that will be uh, before it shows n yes because i have worked on it so uh, once we use this command it will set to yes enabled as yes and let us see how to syn synchronize the time from the NTP server for that we need a package crony already I have installed this package let me get the information about the crony m info crony this package is used to get the synchronization synchronization package time synchronization so is a client by server for the time network time protocol it's already installed so i don't want to install now anyway i'm going sh going to show the command yum install crony this command will install the package it's showing already installed now let us see how to configure the crony uh, let me ping first my let me try to ping my time server ip it's a local ip it's pinging so I can use a host name or IP. Here I don't have a DNS server, so I'm going to use a IP PIETC crony.conf. Crony.conf. I'm going to command this server line and I'm going to define the my own time server IP. Uh, commanding and uh, command out. Okay. I want to mention my server here for that by starting server. And the IP of my NTP server 
172.16.152.100 and I burst. I burst will sync the time uh, frequently. System CTL status crony D. Let me try to restart the service. The crony D was enabled to start by boot double while the booting, but it was not started. It's enabled to start by booting. Let me start now. System CTL start crown ED. Let me check the status now. It's active and running. And it's showing started NTP client by server. Okay. Now let me try to see the status. The NTP synchronized, synchronized is showing. Yes. So that I will get the time from my NTP server here after. And let us see how to set the time to get the time from the hardware clock for that HW clock hyphen help and only one option hyphen hyphen sys to hc that means sync to hardware clock okay HW clock sync to hardware clock and see the time the time will be get from our hardware okay thanks for watching Please subscribe to our channel, you can see later in new tutorials.